In this short video, we'll show you the key steps to install a Sementel surround cavity walling system. The first step is to prepare the frame, ensuring to make it square and plumb before affixing any product. This may require packing some studs to create a uniform fixing plane. Fit your wall wrap or rigid air barrier following the installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. Then install flashings to base. And head, including installation of metal angle to soffit. And windows, as per manufacturer's instructions. Sementel recommends fitting a subframe with windows. Allow sufficient depth to the window subframe to accommodate thickness of supporting framing, internal linings, rigid air barrier, if used, as well as allowing around 58 millimetres to accommodate the depth of the top hats and panel. Where windows are flush mounted, the back of the face of the window when installed needs to sit flush with the panels. Fix H515 top hats horizontally to the vertical framing at the appropriate positions. These shallow top hats will support the rest of the walling system. Refer to the span tables in the surround design and installation guide for ideal positioning. Also, install directly above and below any window protrusions. Next, we fix the corner supports. By installing intermediate top hats upside down at the corners, a supporting surface is created for fixing the corner angle. At external wall corners, panels can be fixed up to 100 millimeters from the vertical edge of the panel. When fastening the panel 100 millimeters from the panel edge, fix the center of one top hat around 92 millimeters from the wall corner with the adjacent corner top hat being fixed 76 millimetres from the wall corner. Referring to your panel layout plan, fix express wall top hats vertically to the horizontal top hats. They will need to be centred at the vertical express joint locations. Fix intermediate top hats between the express wall top hats and the corners to provide extra support as required. Refer to span tables in the surround design and installation guide for the recommended positioning. Apply the self-adhesive vertical gasket along the recessed center channel of the express wall panels. Be careful not to stretch the gasket in the process. Remove the top layer paper to complete. Because panels are pre-finished, special care needs to be taken on site to prevent scratching and damage during the installation phase. Depending on your panel layout, some panels will require cutting. Use a good quality fibre cement diamond blade and cut slowly through the panel to get a clean cut and minimise the risk of scratching the panel surface. After cutting, give the panel edge a light sand and wipe away any dust as this can stick to panels. Any cut edges must be sealed with the Sementil edge sealer to stop moisture getting in. Drill the panel mounting holes prior to lifting panels into place. This can even be done off-site. Holes need to be made a minimum 100 millimetres from the horizontal edge of the panel and a minimum 40 millimetres from the vertical edge. The number and location of these rivet fixing points will depend on wind load requirements. Refer to fixing tables in the surround design and installation guide. Do not use a hammering action when drilling. Take care to avoid damaging the panel with the drill chuck when approaching the end of the hole. Again, 
Clean away any dust and debris as soon as possible to ensure it does not stick to these finished surfaces. At least three people will be required for fixing. Two to hold the panel while the other fixes. The first row of boards need to be positioned to clear the flashings by 10 to 15 millimetres. In the case where you are working from ground level, ensure ground clearance to regulatory requirements. Starting at a corner, insert metal angle between the panel and the corner top hat. With the rivet centering tool and the 4.1 millimetre drill bit fitted to your drill, starting at a corner hole, position over the panel hole and drill into the metal top hat. Ensure the rivet gun head is secured to the rivet gun and insert the rivet shaft. Position through the pre-drilled panel hole into the pre-drilled top hat. Push the panel firmly against the framing and operate the gun to pull the rivet. Prior to riveting through the top panel holes, insert the aluminium backing strip behind and along the top of the panel. As well as providing weatherproofing, the strip will ensure a consistent 8mm gap between adjoining panels. When installing the next column of wall panels, ensure a gap of 8mm is kept by using a piece of cut panel as a measuring device. It is aesthetically important for the vertical and horizontal joint gaps to be consistent. Prepare the top panels and glue a strip of 5mm spacer along the top edge. This is required as part of the walling system's ventilation design. Slide the top panels with spacer attached behind the metal trim at the soffit junction and rivet into place as normal. Finishing the job now simply requires a wipe down with a clean, damp cloth. <laughs>